nervous, scared, sick feeling. Lonely, scary kind of time. Overwhelming. Frightening and kind of strange. We didn't like coming here. Know that this is one of the best hospitals. The overall goal is to take care of your child, your most precious assets. We're going to work hard to make sure that the children's needs, the patient's needs, and everybody else's needs are met. We have a culture of safety here in the hospital that's very important to us. They will be having a lot of people that they'll be meeting, a lot of people taking care of their child. And to never be afraid, to ask who all these people are and what their role is in that child's care. Know the difference between doctors. My name is Dr. Eric Kirkendall. I'm an attending physician here at the hospital. I'm the most senior member of the team, and I supervise the medical decision making in your care. My name is Mina Natarajan, and I'm one of the fellows. A fellow is a doctor who's specializing in a certain area of pediatrics. You may see us on rounds, or you may see us if we're doing a consult. I'm Janine Jennings, one of the residents here at Children's. I'm the doctor that you'll see on a day-to-day -day basis. We talk with the fellows and the attendings to come up with your plan of care. I'm Michael. I'm Paul. I'm Alex. I'm Lucy. We're, We're medical, medical students. students. My name is Lindsay Justice and I'm a nurse practitioner. A nurse practitioner is an advanced practice nurse. I examine patients, write orders, and plan and manage care with the rest of the team. I'm Teresa and I'm the charge nurse. I'm responsible for overseeing the efficiency of the nurses on the unit. I'm Amanda, I'm the bedside nurse. You'll see me on a daily basis. I'm the one who gives you your medications and monitors your symptoms to see if you're getting better or worse. I'm Vanessa, I'm a patient care assistant. A patient care assistant helps the nurse with your day-to-day -day care. I'm Charles Jones and I'm a health unit coordinator. I'm the first person you see when you walk onto the unit. I'm the first person who answers the phone or the call light, whatever you call out. And I'm usually the last person you see as you're walking out of the door when you're discharged. Don't be afraid to ask questions. The good traits of a parent are the parents that ask questions. They voice their concerns. That way your team can work together with you and your parents to make sure that they're making the right decisions for you and how you're being taken care of. Stay calm, ask a lot of questions, and write a lot of information down. Just put all of your fear aside and just ask. Sometimes the doctors can come in and talk really fast and say, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this. And it's a good thing to say, step back, hold on, this is a little new for me. If I'm asking, like, what's going on and stuff, they'll give me a pretty good answer. Never let anyone change your plan of care without a guardian or advocate there. When we're developing a plan of care, um, we have to have the patients and the families input in that process. We start talking about when we're going to predict that your child is ready to go home at the beginning of your hospital stay. The sooner that they're familiar with the disease process or how to take care of the patient at home, the sooner that they can get out of here and get back to their normal lives. Know your options. You have to be responsible for your child's care. You cannot farm out that responsibility to anyone else. We had no idea going in how much it was going to be upon us to make sure that, that uh, we participated in Ryan's care. If other parents knew their rights or their freedom to ask and to get involved, I think that that would make a significant difference in the health of all children. We can do all the medical stuff and look at all the tests, but they're the ones that know the child best and have that mother or fatherly instinct to tell us when they really don't feel like things are right. It was my job to speak up and say what she needed and what she was like, but it was also my job to work with the doctors and, and try to work toward what the best solution for her was. And that's a hard, hard line to walk. Sometimes it happens that um, parents disagree. The best thing to do is to take it up directly with you know, the, the attending physician or someone on the staff and in, in a respectful way. It's important to talk to them and tell them what your concerns are and why you disagree with it and then work together because ultimately you are the expert with your child and the doctors and the nurses are experts in medicine. Why are you asking so many questions? So many questions. Questions. Why do you ask the same questions over and over and over again? And over and over again. The question we get asked over and over again is why do we ask so many questions? That can be frustrating to the families because they'll think, well, I've just answered these questions. They're asking me the same questions again. I thought initially that no one was talking to each other and that they didn't know what was going on. And 
the more I became aware of the situation, I realized that they were actually doing that to double check each other and to make sure that we were all on the same page. Every discipline that's interacting with them is looking for a different piece of the story. We need to ask the questions for safety so to make sure that we have an accurate history. Please don't get offended by our questions. That's helping us think through the very best care for your child. I'm happy when they ask me those questions again and again and again. Generally when you're asking the same question over and over, just let your parents deal with it. Pay attention to doctors when they make their round. You won't be able to sleep in. Morning rounds can be very annoying to a lot of people who come in early in the morning, who ask a lot of questions and take up a lot of room. I feel like rounds were almost the most important part of the day. Rounds really for me was about setting the objectives for the day. Discussing, you know, what brought the patient to the hospital in the first place, what the progress has been since they were admitted, and what the plan is for the day. There's all the disciplines there. There's your attendings, there's the fellows, there's the residents, there's the students, there's the dietitians, there's the whole care team there presenting about your child. Sometimes it can be intimidating when the whole group comes in to remember to ask the questions. So I always tell parents to make sure you write everything down beforehand so they don't forget their questions. If you get scared while they're in rounds, tell them so they can take care of it. Don't hide anything from the doctor. Be as honest as possible. We need honesty from the parents as well as them needing it from us so that we can have the best outcome for the patient. If you're asked, have you been taking your medicine regularly, and you're afraid to say, not really, because I forgot two days ago, Please, say it. Tell us you forgot to take your medicine because only knowing what's going on will help us to help you. If you're not honest with us, it can lead to unnecessary tests. Something is wrong. You have to be honest and tell the doctors. We need to be honest about what you can expect from us, what the plan is. So honesty goes both ways. Encourage someone to be there with you. You don't want to be alone. Don't resist help. It's very important to make sure that you're getting rest, that you're eating, because that will actually help your child in the long run. You could tell um, when they haven't had much sleep, when they've been there for a while. So we do try to tell them to go home, take some rest. If you don't eat, if you don't sleep, then you're not going to be much help to anyone. There's probably a good reason that you're being kept waiting. Doctors may be with other patients. You definitely have to have patience to be a parent of a patient. As responsive as they are, they're humans and they're busy humans, and um, you have to learn patience. It's worth the wait. We hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. If you need more information, go to cincinnatichildrens.org. And cut.